I'm Simon Brown uh, and I was fortunate enough to be a torchbearer in the 2012 Olympic torch relay. My main story started back in 1997 when I, I made a decision to join the army um, and I served 14 years of the British Army, reaching the rank of full screw, or which was full corporal. And in that time, I served in Kosovo in 1999, uh, Iraq in 2003, and then returned to Iraq in 2006. Um, and on the 6th December 2006, my life was changed when I was called out to a, a rescue mission. And I, I went in and rescued six blokes. But on the extraction, I was shot in the face by a sniper. The bullet went in my left cheek came out my right cheek and kind of made a mess of everything in the middle. Uh, I was very fortunate that the round didn't actually knock me out and because of that I was able to treat myself for 25 minutes till we got back to medical facilities. Um, what I didn't realise at the time is that the bullet had destroyed my left eye, it seriously damaged my right eye, uh, it shattered both cheekbones, broke my jaw in four places and um, because of the, the break of the jaw the, the main danger was suffocation when my palate collapsed. Fortunately for me, um, I had the, the sort of sense of sort of being to put my thumb in my mouth and hold my palate up uh, so that um, I could breathe for the 25 minutes. And then once I got to medical facilities in Basra Palace, I was put into a drug-induced coma and woke up in, in Birmingham 17 days later to the news that I'd lost my, uh, I'd lost my left eye. My right eye didn't have much hope for sight and kind of laid there thinking that my life was pretty much over at that point. I was laid in hospital feeling sorry for myself. I, I heard over the radio that two of my friends had been killed and it kind of gave me the kick up the backside that I needed that I might not be right, I might not have everything in one piece, but at least I was still here to whinge about it. So that was kind of the impetus that I needed to start rebuilding my life. So I got out of the hospital, thought about I thought about what, what I still had instead of focusing on what I'd lost. Trying to change the direction of belief and, and thinking so that it was always about what I had left, what I could do next, not what my restrictions were and what I didn't have anymore. And it, it was good for me, that sort of impetus, that sort of strength was what I needed to, to carry on and, and refocus my life. And that, that focus and that strength and that sort of... Uh, doggy determination to, to rebuild my life and carry on was, was the reason that I was given the opportunity to carry the Olympic torch. I was nominated by Real Radio uh, because of some of the work I'd done with them through charity. Then to find out that I'd actually been selected as well to, to, to carry it was, was unbelievable. You know, to, out of all these amazing stories, all these Fantastic people that have been nominated, you know, and there were some absolutely amazing stories out there. To be selected as one of those special stories that get the opportunity just really sort of was a boost to my own confidence, my own self-belief and, and things like that. But it was made even more special by the fact I got to carry it in Morley. I carried it through the streets I grew up in and, you know, the streets that I played in and past the rugby club that, you know, that is so dear to my heart and, and, and all my friends play there and they were there to support me when I got injured and it felt like I was giving something back to the community by you know, representing the community in the community with this amazing opportunity. And words can't really describe how proud and how honoured I was to do it. You know, it was a seriously, seriously sort of emotional day. When you say money can't buy, um, you know, often money can. But that experience, that opportunity, that, that just sort of sense of aliveness, money can't buy that. It was 300 metres approximately, I carried it, but I think my torch was lit for about five and a half minutes. But you just don't feel it, you know. As you're doing it, time seems to slow down and you, you're just unaware of everybody shouting and, and, and all the carrying on. When you finish and you've handed over, you're getting back on the bus, you think, well, what just happened for the last five minutes? You know, it's like it just whizzed by. It's such a surreal experience, but, you know, 300 metres, you know, it, it was. It could have been 300 miles, you know, I probably would have felt the same way, you know, every metre of it. Each person was given the opportunity that was nominated to buy their own torch. Um, some sponsors bought the torch, some sponsors didn't, other people were bought it by who'd nominated them and things like that. Um, but I, yeah, I, I took the opportunity to buy my torch because it's a memento, it's a family heirloom, it's 
that, that torch, you know, is special to me. I was asked about insuring it and you think, well, what's the point in insuring it? I will never get it if it ever gets lost or stolen. I'll never get it back. I'll never get that torch that I carried back. It's more, not it's, it's monetary value, it's just it's sentimental, it's emotional value to me and, and to my family, you know, the, the whole family are involved. My younger brother was my sighted guide, so he ran alongside me. So, you know, it, it's special for him and, and it, it's something that, you know, we want to keep in the family. Once all the, the hubbub dies down and it gets a bit quieter, you know, I'll probably buy a nice sort of mountain case for it and put it above the mantelpiece, but at the moment, it kind of sits on the back of the sofa in its case, <laughs> waiting for me to go out and use it. The, the Olympics and Paralympics showed that, firstly to me, that, you know, once again made me proud that I wore the uniform and represented our nation and the armed forces. The main thing I think it did for the nation was, was it gave us back our identity. It, it showed that, you know, we can stand tall. For me personally, my, my biggest thing was I, was I was involved at the beginning to carry the torch. I was also involved in the closing ceremony of the Paralympics with some other veterans and to be there at the beginning and there at the end of the whole Olympic experience for me was was just so special and you know and, and it was the opportunity I got because you know I, I got injured serving my nation so I know what it's like to wear your national colours and represent your nation just in a different sort of a different sort of battlefield. Mm -hmm.